Hello everyone, welcome to a comprehensive series of UiPath Studio Web. It's a complete cookbook. So you will be starting from zero on how to open a web studio till around 30 plus tasks we will be able to complete in this particular course or in this particular series. So don't miss any video. You will be able to learn each and every activity as well as any kind of project that you want to develop. This will be a great start. To start with UiPath Web Studio, it's very easy. Just go to cloud.uipath.com and you can just log in with your existing email ID. All you need to do is click on any of the existing email IDs that you have with the provider. I'm having Microsoft, so I'll be going with Microsoft as my provider. Click on continue. Once you completed the sign up, you will see this environment. On the left side, you will see details about home, orchestrator, studio. So this is what you just need to go ahead and click. Click on studio. You will be navigated to a studio web page. And in this page, we will see templates. If you want to use any existing templates from UiPath directly, you can use them. There are around 24 and more such templates will be built. We have around 70 plus pre-built templates. UiPath is continuously producing new templates for us to use. You can click here to change the view from card to list. And if you want to change it back to thumbnails or card, you can click over here. To create a new project, we'll go into projects and we'll start creating a new project. But before doing that, let's go into automations and we'll be able to see all the pre-existing automations. If you have created any, this might be empty for you. In the runs, you will see what are the process that we have executed. And these are the process that I have executed so far. And you can also see a recording if it is a UI automation. And you can also see the recordings. Connections are the major blocks for Web Studio. We can use connections or connectors to connect with multiple sources. If you can see here, I have connected to my OpenAI service as well as multiple other services in future I'll be using. If you're starting for the first time, you will be able to see a start guide like this and you can see all the preferences from UiPath Studio. Click on next and you can select the preferences of any kind of tools or templates that you want. Let's go ahead and click on continue. If you want to start with any of the pre-existing template, you can go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and hit on projects and let's start with a new project. Let's write a hello world program. Click on new project give your project your own name like hello world and if you want to add any description you can add it over here there are three ways of executing this process or automation manually event based and time based for now check manually click on create and this is the complete canvas on the left side you can see a back arrow to go to projects and click on run to run this automation if you want to run step by step you can run this with run step by step and if you want to publish this to your orchestrator, you can hit on publish. On the right side, you can see submit as a template so that your project will be taken up as a template that we have seen earlier. If I want to share this to any of my colleagues or any of my team members, I can add emails over here and I can click on send. On the right side, you can see data manager. Here is where you will be able to have all the variables, arguments and connections. If you want to create a new variable click on here and click on add variable for now we are not going to do anything we'll just continue with other details this is an output panel when your bot is executing or when your automation is executing you will be able to see your outputs over here this is a watch panel in case of any dynamic assignments you want to do or in case of any operations you want to do while execution you can use this watch panel on the left side, you have zoom in and zoom out to zoom in and zoom out any automations that you have. You can also use this percentage indicator or drop down to select the percentage of zoom in you require. For now, I'm going to have 100% of zoom, which will be sufficient for me. For now, I'll go with 130% of zoom, which will be sufficient for the canvas. Let's go ahead and click on this plus activity. Once you click on this plus activity, there will be hundreds of activities that you can see. 
all you need to do is just click on any activity and you can configure it to use. We'll go with log message activity and we'll see hello world. No need to add any double quotes. Let's add hello world or hello virtual. When you complete this activity, you can select multiple levels of logs. For now, we'll skip the details of log levels. We'll just go and click on run button. Once you click on run, on the right side, you can see project is building and this is the output panel. Project is built, agent is installing, transferring the project to runtime environment. Once the project is updated, it will be executed. And here is what you will see as an output. Once the execution is completed, you can see multiple things. On the left, every activity, you can see it as run successfully. It will be indicated as green. If any activity failed, it will be indicated either in the color of orange or red. On the right side, you can see it is successful. And if you want to download the logs of the execution, you can hit on logs, download logs. You can click on open and you can see all the logs that are generated from this automation. Let's go ahead and right click on it. Open with notepad. So these are the logs that I have generated. This will be used when we are working on big projects and when we want to share the logs and we want to debug all the logs, this will be absolutely useful. Let's have a quick recap of what we have seen so far. We have started with UiPath Web Studio, logged into cloud automation, cloud.uipath.com. And if you don't have automation access, you can use this page and you will get access in few minutes. This is UiPath Studio web. Here is a window how you need to create a first project. Just add your project title. This is the development canvas. We have seen data manager. We have seen data manager where we can create variables, arguments and entities and connections. The run button will be used to execute any automation. In the design panel, the plus icon will be used to add any new activity or a sequence. To see the output of any execution, you need to hit on the run button. Click on the run button after you update activities in the canvas. You will be able to see all the output in the output panel. And this is the first activity or first project we have completed. We created a new project. We have given name and description. We used log message activity or we can also use right line activity. We clicked on the plus symbol. Here is the first solution recap that we have built. We created a new project and we have written name for it. Clicked on create and added a clicked on the plus symbol, selected the log message activity and updated our message. Log level is selected by default as info. Clicked on run project and this can be our final output. And this is our final output of the canvas. Thank you for watching till the end. Check out the next video. Hey, amazing viewers. Hope you are loving our content. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now.